today on Divorce Court. I'm here at Divorce Court today because I just feel like I'm at the end of the line with Erin. She needs patience. She has to change her attitude problem. These are all things that I deal with. Erin's so clingy that it's just overwhelming. No, I'm not clingy. I just want the world to know that that's my woman. She's beautiful. He wants kids and I don't, and that's for the simple fact that I already have two kids. We have had previous conversations about having children, and now I'm surprised that she doesn't want children anymore. We've talked about it. I want the judge to tell Aaron to realize that if he wants to keep me, he needs to step his game up. I would like the judge to tell Kaylin that she needs to get her act together and things don't always fall in your lap like this. Aaron, I want you to stop acting like a little boy and grow up. Divorce court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Kaylin Gilcrease and Aaron Mitchell. The two of you have been together for five years. Uh, you have no children together, but you do have children from a previous relationship. Things aren't good anymore, so you've come to see me, Ms. Gilcrease. I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me about your relationship and why you've come to see me today? Well, um, basically, I'm here today because I feel like after all these years, um, I basically feel like he's trying to lock me down with a baby, and I'm just not going for that. So it's been one of our biggest issues that we've had throughout our whole relationship. Lies. Um, <laughs> Mr. Mitchell, I'll get to you. I promise. I will. Too soon. You, uh, why do you think he's trying to lock you down with a baby? What's... Uh, because it's just the constant pressure reminder he, he wants a kid. He doesn't mm -hmm. have kids. And mm -hmm. he's in his late 20s, so I know he's getting to that point in his life where he wants to start a family. As mm -hmm. for me, I have two boys. They're older. Um, I'm just not ready for that yet. Right, so right. I feel like, you know, the constant pressure asking me and stuff, it, it gets to me a little bit because he knows how I feel about the situation. Mm -hmm. do, do you have disagreements about whether or not you would like to have more children? Uh, I guess you could say we have disagreements. She's stating that, obviously, right now, but, you know, in, our, in previous times, we had conversations about possibly having a baby at the beginning of our relationship, so this throws mm -hmm. confusion for me. Mm -hmm. Do you think... Did she change her mind as years went on, I think or... she, she may have changed her mind as years went on, but this is something that wasn't communicated to me effectively. Mm -hmm. When did you realize that she no longer or wasn't currently interested in having children? Like, how long has this been an issue? I say that it's been the an issue. The whole time. <laughs> she said the whole you know, time, right? But I, 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 but I just told you that we didn't have this conversation at the beginning of our relationship. So mm -hmm. then when it comes to me and she's feeling like this, now it's like I'm just some lost duck somewhere just swimming like I don't know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So then, like, we got a friend, a mutual friend that's recently had a baby. You right. Know? And since she is a mother, you know, she... And the, the, the lady that has just recently had this baby, she's a brand-new mother, so she right. showed her some tips on how to sure. nurture the baby and stuff like that. But when we leave those situations, she got baby fever, so now I'm confused. Right. So how old are your boys? Nine years old and six years old. Nine and six, mm -hmm. yeah. Nine and... woo -wee. Yep. Been there, done that. <laughs> uh, Ms. Gilcrease, do you... Did you have conversations in the beginning with him about and, and tell him that you were open to having children? Eventually, you know, when Eventually. we're in a place to where we can have another baby mm -hmm. and be stable and right. I can have some sort of security, if we're not at that place, I don't feel like we need to be having a child when we're not all the way together. Nothing against so. you, Mr. Mitchell, but don't, don't have nobody else's baby unless you married. And that's another thing. You, you see what I'm saying? Just <laughs> yeah. don't do it. It's, 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 uh, don't do it. Okay. <laughs> Old school... You know what I mean? If you, if you want to put your future in my body, I better be the most important thing in your future. Yes. That is true. I heard. <laughs> and, if, and, if you can, and, if, and if I'm not that chick, not doing it. That, I recommend that in general. You say he's too clingy. Why do you say that? This is one of my biggest issues. He's clingy because he does things females would do. Like, if I'm not... If we're watching a movie and I'm not laying right up on him, it's an issue. If Even when I'm laying on him, if I'm not close enough or if he's not all the way touching me, it's an issue. If we're out in public, he has to be all over me. He has to, I guess, prove a point that I'm his girlfriend to everybody else that may be around. Like, there was this one specific time. We were shopping in the mall, and 
You know, he likes to do lovey-dovey stuff in person, in front of people. I don't like that on private. So mm -hmm. he started being all over me, walking behind me, bear hugging me. I'm tripping over his feet, just looking stupid. And, you know, and he just don't stop. And it's just like irritate me the whole time. And, I'm, you know, I'm just like, he, t he could tell I'm getting irritated. Mm -hmm. And he knows why, but he just feels like it's okay because we're out in public. Mm -hmm. But he also knows me too. He went to go slap my butt and I turned around and I had a reflex is what I call it and I slapped him because you just, you know how I get, like don't try to force it out in public because you think you're gonna get away with it. Mr. Mitchell, what do, what do you have to say about what she just said? Did she describe it accurately or is there something else going on? She described it as accurate as she wanted to. Um, I don't agree with that, you know, like we might be in a car or something like that, driving down the street to a destination. She want me to rub on her, rub her thigh while I'm driving or something. She likes me to touch her. She, she says she feels some type of sense of security. Mm -hmm. She feels like, you know, when I do be like that with her, from, it's showing her that from inside of me that I really care for her like right, that. Right, right. You know right. what I mean? So. I don't mean actually to rub my feet, though, when we're driving somewhere. Like, I don't be like, yeah, rub all over me. You got to drive. You ask so. him to rub your feet while he's driving? I mean, it's just the thing we do. Like, if he's driving, you know, I'll, I'll set one of my, my feet what on man him. Do that? And he'll just... <laughs> what man do that and do it great? <laughs> Multitasking. I don't think that's anything weird, though. <laughs> what man that's do that? That's not weird. People do things like that in relationships. You keep your feet down on the deck. <laughs> you know, there's enough with distracted driving down there. Got we ain't got into an accident yet. And, and <laughs> Sometimes he'll ask That's me for silly. one. Like, like he, I mean, it's just one of them things we do. And... That's basically it. I don't be like, rub all over me while you're driving. I don't do that. You that... put it, your feet in his lap <laughs> and you ask him to rub your feet while he's driving. So if, if I can rub If something feet... happened, go, something, you know, alarming happens... He's not focused. He ain't gonna have both hands on the wheel, you know? I mean, he's a, he's quick, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Just like her reflexes, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just like her reflexes. Well, since we're talking about quick, uh, I understand there's some intimacy, intimacy problems. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that now. He went all out, got a hotel room, made it nice, you know. He surprised me, brought me to the room, opened the door, and I see everything. Most women would be like, oh, babe, you know, I appreciate this, but my feelings was, dang, I'm trapped. Mr. Mitchell and, and, and Ms. Gilchrist, I understand that you don't want to work somewhere where she's not working. Is that accurate? That's not accurate. It's very accurate. You tell me what you believe is happening and you tell me what you believe is happening. Over the past couple years, like, well, we met at work. Mm -hmm. That's how we met. And okay. it's just been a thing that we would get jobs together. It's easier. We carpool together. The scheduling with having the kids, it was just easier. Yeah. But then it became a thing to where he just did not want to get a job unless he got a job with me. I don't know if it was, like, an insecurity problem, if he didn't trust me or what, or he just... I don't know what it was, but he would not get a job unless he Are got Are you working at the same job now? Yes. Mr. Mitchell, what do you have to say about that? Did she get that wrong? She got that wrong. She got that wrong. Like she said, we met at work. Right. Um, and we've been working with each other at different jobs consistently since then. You know, we've been working these temporary assignments to warehouses and stuff like mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. um, typically, I do the, the landing on, on it, you know, I, I do the research on the internet, find a job, you know, I walk in, I go get that thing. Mm -hmm. And she more so comes with me. Right. I mean, she, she gets she, one too. She could trust that I'm, when I'm going to go get it, I'm going to go get it, because that's what a man do. Okay. Would you have a problem if she got a job where you weren't working? It's already happened before. And you never had a problem with it? You yeah, never no talked problem. about it? Never, there's never been an issue, an argument? Listen, I'm there 10 minutes early for you. Ten minutes early before you get off. It ain't no thing. <laughs> He's interesting. <laughs> um, you say you feel suffocated with his love. Yeah, he... He's just... He wants too much touching, too much sex. It's overwhelming, and it makes me not... Like, the more he pressures me to want to be intimate or all that, the more it makes me not want to do that. 
So it puts me in a situation where it's like I feel like I have to make excuses. I mm -hmm. have to come up with reasons to not do things with him. Like, it was one specific time where he went all out. Like, I was at work and he went all out, got a hotel room, made it nice, you know, because he just wanted to do that for me. Right. But that specific night, it just wasn't my night. I wasn't in the mood. I'm a real moody person sometimes, especially when I get off of work. And basically, you know, he surprised me, brought me to the room, opened the door, and I see everything. And, you know, most women would be like, oh, babe, you know, thank you, and I appreciate this. But my feelings was... Like, dang, I'm trapped. Like, now now we're here. Now now we're here, and I have to make an excuse to, you know, find my way out of this situation because I just wasn't in Women the mood. Women come in here by the dozen <laughs> talking about their man doesn't do, don't do anything romantic for them, that they don't love them, that they don't express this. This man over here rubbing your feet on the way to work and then got a hotel room for you with all the trappings when you're done and you and you and you don't want it, I uh, <laughs> tell me about that, Mr. Mitchell. I just feel. I like... I understand how you feel, but go ahead and say it. <laughs> she don't know how to accept this real love. You know what I mean? Right. I'm like, maybe she ain't never seen it before in her life. Never had it thrown at her like that, but. I'm, I'm, I'm real. He plays a lot of mind games, too. He's he's a very... What, what kind of mind game? People go. person. Like, he, he can talk, you know what I'm saying? Well, what but kind of he, mind game? He's just, like, he's controlling in a way to, like... I don't know. It's hard to explain. I'm controlling, but I'm the one rubbing the feet. Okay, because you rub my feet once. That don't mean one, nothing. Oh, That's that was one, one little thing. That's not... That don't define our whole relationship because you rub my feet. Ooh, so what? Like, well, let me ask you this. You, provide, you, you, you really, believe that Mr. Mitchell is, is, is cheating on you. I want you to tell me why you believe after all of this love and, and, <laughs> and, and, and PDA and intimacy in your direction, you believe he's actually cheating on you. I have been seeing somebody else because... <laughs> I don't do that because that's dumb. Oh, he got a right to be upset. Though. I mean, he does, He's been but with he kind of knew already. already. Kind of knew already. You kind of knew already. I, I kind of <laughs> just bounced yes. out right now. How would you feel if your partner insisted on showing you public displays of affection? Tell us what you think at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. Gil Chris, why do you think he's cheating on you? I feel like he's cheating on me because um, I've seen text messages from a person that he had relations with back in high school before mm -hmm. me, but right. at the same time, he's been intimate with this girl. So I've seen messages um, on his phone from this specific girl. And what did they, they say? Basically, can you come over? Can we kick it, hang out, and stuff like that? And they what were What does flirting. he say? He responds, like, you know, that's cool. I'll have to find the time and stuff like it. I didn't read too much because mm -hmm. I only had a certain amount of time to go through his phone and read it. Kitchen so, guy. <laughs> Kitchen guy. I'm the only kitchen you all the down to low. The you got, yeah, stuff. yeah. I had yes. to go to the stuff that proved that he was talking to somebody else. Now, as far as like if he went to go kick it with her, I don't know if that happened. But that gives me good reason to believe that he did. Were you, were you kicking it with this other woman? No, I wasn't kicking it with this other woman. This is the woman right here I want to be with. Now, this other woman that she's talking <laughs> about is a friend of mine from high school, you know. We, uh, we were best friends. When I first met her, we did like each other, but, you know, I uh, had relationships with her best friend. Right. So we agreed that we would only be friends. Too much. Gotcha. Okay. Well, Ms. Gilcrease, I don't understand why you care. At, at the be time, I cared because uh, yeah, I wanted yeah, the I'm relationship. I'm talking about it right now. Oh, uh, well... Tell me why you may not care. Because I just feel like we've done everything to try to fix everything. I feel like I've done everything. Be truthful with this man. He deserves it. I mean, at the end of the day, I basically, I have been seeing somebody else because <coughs> at the end of the day, <coughs> I just don't feel all the way satisfied with where we're at. And it's been five years of an ongoing cycle. So, so how it, long have you been seeing somebody else? Don't do that, because I don't. Uh, oh, he's got been a right long. to be upset, though. I mean, he does, he's been but with he kind of knew already. Years. He kind of knew already. I kind of knew already. You kind of knew already, I, I kind of <laughs> yes. just found out right now. How, how did he know already? 
Because he he's came across, you know, little things on my phone that may have gave him an idea. I don't know how idea. much he looked into my phone to figure uh -huh. out what was going on, but he's seen messages between me and this other guy. You know that for sure? I don't know it for sure, but knowing him and the way I know him, I know when I leave my phone around, that's his chance to go through it. Uh -huh. Yeah. But and don't he's you done think if he had caught you doing that, he'd have said a little something? No, because he plays mind games. And he, it's more of a, at this point now, like, he'll try to more so get revenge and just go do, well, she's doing her thing, so I'm going to just go do my thing, but I'm still going to be in cahoots I'm with her. I'm not into her. open relationships. Mm -hmm. But you do the same thing I do. Like, okay, when we break up, like, he'll go talk to people, I'll go talk to people. We're broken right. up. There's no... But you're not broken up now. You're seeing somebody else while you with him. That's what's happening here, and it that's what really I'm going to address. <laughs> that's what I'm going to address. What would you do if your partner regularly turned down your request to be intimate? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. Mr. Mitchell, mm -hmm. did you not know? Had no idea. Now, see, what's crazy to me about that is she got me always thinking I'm crazy, some man in my emotions that's weak or something. And here all along, the dog that's barking is the one that's biting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What are you going to do from here? I'm going to reevaluate myself and shoot for the stars. I can't, I, I don't know if I could deal with this. Like, she's, she's talking about... He's the, real good at making himself look like the victim, and that's real irritating. Well, you're seeing somebody like, else. We, you're like, seeing somebody else. Because I, he don't act like a man. Like, Ms. this is Mr. why. Mr. Uh, Mr. Mitchell, Mr. Mitchell, Mr. Mitchell, Mr. Mitchell, Mr. Mitchell, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. <laughs> Mr. Mitchell, I'm going to talk to you. Put your track shoes on and get to stepping. She doesn't want you. She's not treating you right. Mm -hmm. She's not loving you well. You're trying to be as close and as, as kind and as romantic and as, as, as securing as you can be, but that's not what she wants. She doesn't appreciate who you are and what you bring to the table. And since she doesn't appreciate who you are, which you have the right to love whomever you want to love, you absolutely have the right to do that, but you also have the obligation to be truthful with the person with whom you're dealing. You don't have the right to mix that up. Yeah. You're not using condoms with him. I don't know what you're doing with the other guy, so <laughs> what are you exposing him to that he doesn't know about? He has the right to protect his health and his future, and he can't do that if the woman that he's sleeping with is doing things behind his back that he doesn't know anything about. Step on, step well. You're what I call a toner man. Back in the day, we used to use toner ink for emails, and what's going to happen is the people, women from all across the country, are going to be emailing divorce court What's his number? Where does he live? <laughs> Hook me up, because I want him. Because somebody's going to want you. Step on, step it. well, enjoy your life. <laughs> this matter's adjourned. Judge Lynn, you know, she made it clear this guy is a good one. But he's, he's not going to stick around, obviously, after learning this news today. How does that make you feel? It's going to be a little upsetting, but at the same time, he's not what I'm looking for right now. I mean, at this, he's not, basically, he's not satisfying me, mm -hmm. how a man should. What's your reaction to uh, learning that she's seen another guy? I mean, it's time for me to get my bags, you know, hit the road, go get me a pack of cigarettes, and never come back, man. Judge Lynn said, we're gonna get some emails. I don't know if you wanna shout your email address or something out to, to, to the fans right now so we can start getting you someone lined up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can find me, Aaron Mitchell, on Facebook. That's it. There it is. There it is. 